What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Josh from The Old Card Drop here. We have another video today to, uh, to go over. This one's gonna be a PSA submission that we just got back, as well as some other mail that we had. Uh, we're gonna try to put out more of these kind of mail day PSA submissions whenever we get them out, even if they're a little bit small. So this video will probably only be about 10 minutes or so, but uh, don't hold me to it. So hopefully we can get some good content for you guys here and let's switch the camera over and go ahead and see what's in this mail day. All right, here we are, guys. Uh, we are back. Now we switched the camera angles over, and we're back at the desk. Uh, let's see some of these cards that we got, though. We got some pretty interesting stuff in. Um, I, I did want to document some of these because we will be selling these on our channel. And uh, it's one of these collections that we got that was just um, something you don't see every day. So I did want to show these off. What these are, are I believe they're Bandai, Bandai vending stickers. Now they call these stickers because I think that the way they came out of the vending machine, they're in like between two pieces of cardboard, they're stickers, but they came in non-hollow as well. And here, let me show the backs of them. The backs are non-hollow, so they're not the same picture. Some of them do have the same, but others do not. So these are kind of cool cards though, that if you've never seen them before, I think they're worth a little look through. They're very rare. They're extremely rare and in good condition, uh, almost impossible to find. And so, these were all in a single collection from a uh, one massive purchase that we made and we're, we've been going through some of it a little bit at a time there's just so much to go through and this is some of the more notable finds that we found this was a single uh, the numbers if you look at the corners the numbers are sequential it's actually a whole pretty much a whole set i think there's a couple cards here and they're missing but i've found for the most part the numbers are all spot on I love the ones like this that have you know, starters on them. And so uh, this was kind of a fun little thing. I think that if people uh, watch the channel, they kind of know I'm into non-TCG cards. And so I always pick them up, um, especially old vintage ones when I find them in good condition. And this was a collection I couldn't pass up. So I wanted to showcase some of that on the channel here today. Um, we also got some other stuff in the mail before we go through our PSA submission. What would a uh, day here on the channel be without this Meowth? This Meowth is probably one of my favorite Meowths in the hobby. If you get a nice close-up look at the background there, you see some pretty cool Meowth artwork. This is another Magi card. So here on the channel, you guys know uh, we love Magi cards. And so this is one of those that we were um, we actually gave out in one of our streams to a Meowth collector because I'd never heard of those and I really was excited to be able to give that to him so we had to replace that so this is another little something we picked up um the market the market's in a weird place right now guys I think a lot of things are really high still and I think a lot of things have cooled off this is a card that comes out of a booster pack that's really hard to find I know that's my favorite set it's fire red leaf green and these secret rares the birds are some of the hardest cards to pull out of that booster pack we pulled two articunos on the channel but uh kind of a beautiful <laughs> they wrote they wrote on the sleeves so I don't know what that is uh but uh yeah really nice gem mint PSA 10 probably just gonna tuck that back I don't know what we'll do with that I feel like it's a really cool card though and I always like Moltres um, we also got ourselves a, a, what seems to be a very, very heavy diamond and pearl, 18.78 grams. One of these days, we want to do a video on pack weighing. I think it's one of those things in the hobby that's very really controversial. I honestly don't know what's controversial about weighing loose packs at all. I feel like everyone um, gets up in arms when we talk about it. So I, I weigh all loose packs that come to me just because you should always assume they're weighed. And for the sake of science, since they're loose, it's worth documenting, I think, the weights and what gets pulled out of it. So I want to do a video on that one of these days, just talking about the efficacy of weighed and unweighed packs and selling packs as unweighed. I personally think as a seller and someone who buys a lot of vintage packs, and not to get into too much of the details, but I would really just prefer it if everything was weighed and everyone was upfront about what the weights were, uh, no matter what. But that's a whole nother story. I think that does deserve a video one of these days. So let's get to the main chunk of the video here though um this is going to be a fun little thing this is uh something we got back as you can tell i've already busted into it i had to make sure everything was there um but this is our psa submission one of our more recent we still have like two others that are out um pending you know various steps through of the grading but um this is going to be a fun little video though because these four is it four cards? Yeah, four cards. 
we'll see which submission it was um that we sent in are they're gonna be pretty fun they're gonna be pretty fun so i'm just gonna go through them one by one here um this first one you guys on the channel probably know i am a psa1 collector and so i typically buy my psa1s because uh I mean, I sent a, 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 it's just too expensive to send them in to potentially get a two and a three. But there are certain cards that, as a PSA 1 collector that I know will get a PSA 1 and that I really wanted to have. And so this is too expensive to buy in a PSA 1 by itself. But if you buy the cards raw and grade them, I mean, even at the high cost, I mean, I think the cost of this card cost me under $200. To get this in a slab and the card raw and graded with shipping and everything all together which for me i feel like that is uh very well worth the cost so this card is once again like we said our favorite uh set fire red leaf green right now has been um that set and so this is the card the chase card that we've been looking for so having it in a slab as a psa one that's pretty exciting and that's a really nice looking card this was a card that a lot of people uh, chased after and is very hard to pull. We still are chasing after this card, so that'll go up there with the Moltres. Um, but, okay, well, this one's just going to give it away right now, the back of this card. So let's get a good uh, look at this, but check it out. Ooh, baby, look at that. Uh, you guys know how much I love these Magi cards, Magi, Magi. We're going to say Magi here. Uh, but this is uh, one of my favorites from the whole series. This is the Pikachu Helgar versus Pikachu or Pikachu Houndoom. Um, this is a versus series Magi card. Um, I I do believe these are my favorite cards in the hobby. These are absolutely the, my favorite cards of all time. Um, recently found them earlier in the year, last year, into last year, earlier this year. Um, and I've fallen deeply and fast in love with these cards but certainly some of my favorite cards in the hobby and i'm happy to show them off here on the channel okay this next one let's see what this next one's going to be we'll see there's a couple more left that i think are in this submission so it could be one of two cards let's see Ooh, yeah let's go okay so this as you can see is uh let's bring out its brother here a nice little PSA 10. This was submitted, pulled on the channel here uh, out of a fire red leaf green pack that we had tucked away that we opened up from whatnot or on whatnot. Uh, and this is not ours. This is one of our followers here. And so congratulations, Zach. But uh, this got the 10. Man, is that a beautiful card. Let me put it next to its brother, the Moltres. Uh, so yeah, check those guys out. Now I just uh, need to find the Zapdos to uh, you know, imagine the Zapdos right here. Uh, but man, those are beautiful cards. This is the first time Pokemon ever used this uh, cracked ice hollow pattern, and it was only on these three secret rare birds. So it was very, very unique and very fun and cool at the time. Um, so really, really beautiful, beautiful card. So congratulations to Zach. I wish I could say that one was mine, but that's going out. That's a beautiful card. And the last one, I was uh, very surprised. I actually, uh, looking at the corners of this card when I sent it in, I wasn't expecting much. I know that um, PSA grades pretty harshly on corners. And so really it's just that bottom left corner that looked real bad. The front's immaculate though. I remember the back of the, or the front of this card is straight up immaculate. So um, the, let's just get right into it though. Uh, bada bing, bada boom, uh, Legendary Collection, uh, PSA 8 Gengar. I was really surprised when I saw the grade of this card because I did expect a 6 or a 7 based on that corner alone, but just the front of this card is super minty and nice. The centering is good too, so I think that they really did give it a fair grade where they um, accounted for that centering well and at the front and then that back corner didn't ding it as heavily as i thought that it would so really on psa's case uh, um, psa's account this one was in my opinion maybe a fair to a generous grade on my uh part but just looking at the front though it is gorgeous like that's on the sleeve by the way that's not on the card so but yeah really really nice um, but yeah, we're pretty happy about this submission. Pretty happy about um, that in general right now. PSA has been pretty fair with us with the Express submissions. Um, so 
So tell us what you guys think. Do you guys think uh, PSA right now has been fair with their grades? I know that a lot of those bulk grades that are coming back, some people have been somewhat questioning um, what they were, but I feel like they've been a little bit harsh in what I've seen from those uh, mid four, uh, 4 million to 5 million cert levels. But for some reason, these 6 million certs, I feel like they've been quite fair. So... So we'll see what you guys think in the comments. Um, uh, but yeah, I think we're going to come out with another video here soon, something we haven't done before. So uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe here to the channel. It really helps us grow, helps us out quite a bit. And it does make our day every time we get a like and a comment. It really is uh, quite, quite nice. So we'd love to hear from you guys. So I hope you guys have a great day today. Uh, stay safe out there and we'll see you on the next one.